Hello, 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 Facebook. Let me turn up the volume. Hi, Facebook. I hope all is well. Let me see. I'm just going to double check to make sure we are on. Y'all are having a good time this evening. I don't know if I'll be on here long, but we will see. Yep, I am on live. Hey, 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 y'all. Uh, let me go over to the comments. Hello. Thank you so much for joining. Hey, y'all. Let me know who's joining so that I can properly speak to you. I'm going to look on my iPad and see if I can see who's joining. I hate to be looking down, but um, let me see who's joining. Um, hey, the Lord speaks. Yes. Hey, Dr. Elaine, I hope everything is going well uh, with you. I'm excited to be on this evening uh, to um, to pray and see what the Lord is saying to his people. So again, as um, as you all are coming on, just say hello to me, please, so that I can properly speak to you. I'm going to switch my devices. Hi, um, Kat Kangas. Hello, Roberta. Thank you so much for joining. I already spoke to you, Dr. Elaine. I hope all is well. Listen, I bless God for the opportunity to come on uh, tonight. Hello from Charlotte. Hi, Prophetess Brenda. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for joining. Listen, I bless God. I bless God. My name is Toyenda Smith, and I am a prophetess. I'm a prophetic intercessor, a prophetic teacher, and a prophetic evangelist. And you have joined the um, I was going to say the press and pray, the prophetic intercession. I believe my older sister is going to join tonight. She is a prophetic thruster um, and hopefully she'll be able to join tonight. So we will see. Um, I'm all about helping kingdom citizens to be able to live in abundance and prosperity to increase their level of faith and to be able to live according to biblical principles very effortlessly. And I do that with prophetic teaching, prophetic intercession and prophetic evangelism. Um, just happy to be on. I have been uh, busy all weekend. I did have an opportunity to minister uh, at um, Prophet Deidre McLeod's I Am She conference, and that thing just blessed me. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that on tomorrow for the press and pray. Hello, um, uh, uh, Miss ba Look, Minister Elder Beverly Richbold. Thank you for joining. Hey, Allison. Thank you so much for joining. So um, I'm going to put on some um, like a prophetic flow music so that I can uh, just kind of listen to that in the background. And I'm just going to open up in prayer. Listen, if you all have a specific prayer that you want uh, prayed, if you have like a specific need, I'm happy uh, to be able to pray uh, that through. And so it's no problem. It's going to flow. So So if you have a heavenly language, go ahead on and speak in that heavenly language and stir yourself. Randy City of Father, we bless you, God. We honor you, oh God, for what you're going to do even tonight, Father, through prophetic intercession. Father, we thank you for this time. We thank you, God, that you are our provider. We thank you, God, that you're the God that sees to it. We thank you, oh God, that you know exactly what we need even before we ask you. Father, we thank you that you wave our uh, banners of victory, that you wore even on our behalf. God, we thank you that you're always speaking, God. 
Father, you're speaking through the sky. You're speaking through our eyesight, Father. You're speaking even through our bellies. Uh, and so, God, we thank you. Your word says that we can prophesy to edify, comfort, and exhort your people. And we prophesy according to the proportion of our faith. So, Father, I thank you now that I have big faith, God. I have faith, Father, in what you're going to say. I have faith, God. And everything you're going to do even on tonight, Father, even as the prayers come through, Father, I ask God that you would stir, stir, stir the people, God, give us a, a, a zeal for prayer. Father, even if we don't know what to say, your word says that, um, that, that you make intercession for us through groanings and moanings. And so Father, teach us how to groan, teach us how to moan, God, teach us how to speak to you in our heavenly language. Father, we ask that you would come through on this broadcast, Father, and you will speak to your people. We ask for a level of peace. We ask for healing, God, and we ask for advancement, even in business, God, we ask for a level of advancement in the name of these things are so, and, and not one word shall fall to the ground, but it'll accomplish what you sent it to accomplish. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And we say that this thing is, is so, and it will not be otherwise. So we see that Roberta Benjamin has a prayer uh, request and she's praying for her nephew and his situation. So Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, God, that you are the God that delivers. That you're the God that delivers delivers your word says that when the right will deliver, Father, your word says that uh, we're righteous when we're in right standing with you. So Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask now in the name of Jesus that you would come in for Roberta's uh, nephew, Father, and that you would align everything and bring order to the chaos that's happening now in the name of Jesus. Father, I declare and I decree that the nephew, yes, God, will, will uh, make Shedamasia, good, uh, godly decisions going forward. Father, I ask God now that you would increase his uh, ability, Father, to trust you, that you would even heal the hurt and the centered around this concern. Father, I thank you now that even as Roberta is standing in the gap for her nephew, Father, that you would even teach her how to pray. Teach her, God, how to seek your face. Teach her, Father, how to use her voice, Father, to intercede on behalf uh, in the name of Jesus. God, I thank you now that you go into the situation, Father, even yet, yeah, even the courthouse, Father, and that you will settle, yes, God, the matter. Itiba, so that you would settle the matter, Father, in the name of Jesus. God, I thank you that this shall be the last situation that we have to deal with God concerning this. Father, I thank you that a level of maturing, yes, God, is coming now. It's coming forth for nephew. God, I thank you that even the adults around him, Father, that they will line up with what the Spirit say, the Spirit of God. May the Spirit of God rest upon them. God, give them wisdom, knowledge, and understanding for how to move for it in this decision. Uh, God, I thank you for good choices. Uh, I thank you for godly choices. I thank you, Father, that they will seek you, God. Edama, they will seek your face, Father, in all things. And so, God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you that you're bringing order to the situation. We thank you, God. Yes, Father. Peace. Yes, Father. Peace in every aspect of the situation in the name of Jesus. I even speak to the heart posture of the nephew and I just send a, a level of healing. I send a level of healing towards him now in the name of Jesus. The word of God says that we can send the word uh, and the people will be healed. Uh, hallelujah. Even as, um, <clears throat> excuse me, even as, um, uh, even as Father, we send this uh, prophetic word. Uh, even the 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 nephew now in the name of Jesus, and even as as we send this word, as your word says, it's going to deliver him from all destruction. So, Father, we say that this is so, and it shall not be otherwise. In the name of Jesus the Christ, Amen. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Roberta, we'll be expecting to see the uh, praise report. Uh, hallelujah. Hi, Liz. Yes, do it, God. Do it, God. Hello, uh, Miss Brenda. I do see your prayer in there. I will get right to it. Father, I thank you now 
that we're praying, God, that Virginia's daughter, Father, yea, even her throat and her appetite will be restored. Father, your word says over in Hosea that uh, uh, after two days, uh, we will be revived. And on the third day, we're going to be restored, yes, to live in his presence. And so, Father, now in the name of Jesus, I bless you, God, that even as we're praying for Virginia's daughter, that we declare and decree the scripture in Hosea that after two days, you're going to revive her. Yes, God. And on the third day, she's going to be restored to live in your presence. So God, in Jesus, I ask father, that even as Virginia daughter, Virginia's daughter, father, is uh, believing you, we, we speak a level of faith. We speak that a new level of faith will come into their household now in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, that there is indeed nothing too hard for you. We thank you, God, uh, that we believe uh, and we even trust what you're doing in this situation. We come up against father every uh, 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 space, God, of infirmity. We come up against every infirmity in the name of Jesus the Christ. And we tell that infirmity that you must stand. We denounce you. We say you got to go in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you that her appetite is coming back up. I thank you, Father, that, Father, that as she slowly begins to eat, Father, that you will begin to strengthen her body. We speak a level of strength and a level of might over her even now in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you that uh, you, uh, you were wounded for our transgressions. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he was buried uh, and he was bruised. Excuse, excuse Excuse me, for our iniquities and the chastisement of his people. So, Father, I thank you that because you've already taken the stripes for us, God, that the healing comes inside of you being wounded for our transgressions. And so we declare and we decree that this thing is so, that the throat is healed and functioning back to its original design, and that her appetite, God, is coming back and going back to the original design in the name of Jesus. And we also speak peace, Brenda. We also speak peace into that situation in the name of Jesus, the Christ. Amen. Rick Allison is saying, as I'm getting closer and learning about the Lord, I'm having voices bothering me bad that I'm not serious and trying to keep me distracted when I pray or try to learn the word. I know this sounds crazy, but it's what I'm struggling with. So, um, Allison, I would say in general, uh, that is not there. Listen, the Bible says that there is nothing. Let me find that scripture. There is nothing uncommon to mankind. Let me. Let me go there. Let me go. Um, so that I can uh, bring that in. Yeah, that's um, 1 Corinthians uh, 10, 13. I'm going to uh, read it in the NIV. I like the NIV. Some Bible scholars will, will probably smack my hand, but I like it. And so I'm going to read it there. Let me just apply that here. All right. So the scripture says that... Um, it says, no temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, he will also provide a way out so you can endure. So I'm just going to pray into this thing. So Father, I Thank you now is continuing, Father, with strength, power, and authority, learning your word and building a relationship with you. Father, we know that Satan is upset. We know that the enemy is mad, that Allison is coming into the fold to seek your face. She's asking, she's seeking, and she's knocking. And so, Father, inside of this, Father, I ask God that you would come in and put a force field of protection around her, even as she prays, even as she studies is your word. Father, in the name of Jesus, I bind up the hand of the enemy and I lose its effects. Yadama. Soda, Yatabande, for Allison. And we declare and decree that she will have razor sharp focus, God, that she will be able to set her face like a flint on your word, on you, on building a relationship with you. 
I silence and I quiet the voices that come in to distract her. I thank you, God, that she is moving into a space of being very serious about you in the name of Jesus. God, I ask, Father, that you would give her the strength to endure and to press through. Mm -hmm. So God is even saying, Allison, that there's a level of pressing that you're going to know if you have some oil that a, um, a reputable leader has prayed over. But the Lord is simply saying to me that you need some blessed oil and you need that oil when you get ready to pray you need to put it on your hands and then rub it here on your ears the lord is also saying that you um I must also, it's almost like you may need to listen to some soaking music or some soft instrumental as you are praying. Because that music is going to settle you. It's going to focus in a little more. The Lord also says that you have to get up a little earlier. Now, I'm not a morning person, but I'm just telling you what the Lord says. The Lord says that you have to get up a little earlier and press into him. I believe there's a scripture that says, seek him early where he he may be found. Listen, I might need to accept that for myself. I'm just not a morning person. So father, I thank you for the reminder. <laughs> I thank you, God, for the reminder. I thank you, Father, for the reminder that you are going to, God, uh, indeed bless her, Father, to have a new level of focus, a new level of understanding of your word, and a new level, God, of consistency. I also heard the word consistency, 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 Allison. So I speak a level of consistency over you, and I thank God, I thank God uh, that you will be a new woman after you get off this broadcast, because you will be consistent, and you will seek him early. Father, would do this thing for her, God, and that you would even, Father, I thank you that you're beginning even a healing process for her. I thank you, God, that even as you begin to heal her, as you begin to heal her heart, Father, that you're going to shift even her prayer language, even the things that she's praying for. I'm hearing the Lord say, Allison, that the Lord wants you, let me see if I can add my sister in, that the Lord wants you to even focus, Allison, on you. So he wants you to focus on, on strengthening you and empowering you inside of that prayer. So Father, I thank you now that Allison is going to seek you early. Shed down my say, so where you may be found. And she will not be God um, distracted and she will not father have the other outside influences come to her while seeking you. So Father, we bless you for it and we honor you for it. We say that it is so and it shall not be otherwise in the name of Jesus the Christ. Amen. Okay, Allison, listen, I want to hear about the praise report. You hear me? I want to hear the praise report. So get up a little earlier. I'm going to listen, Allison, I'm going to do the same thing. <laughs> get up a little earlier and um, seek the Lord uh, during that time frame. Turn on some instrumental music so so that that can begin to take the place of any other distractions that may come. Hallelujah. Hello, Dr. Henley. So much for joining us this evening. Can you hear me? I can hear you now. I could not hear you at first. Okay. All right. So there are plenty of prayers. Listen, I'm so happy my big sister's here. There's plenty of prayers inside of the feed. So I'm going to drop them. I don't know if you can see the feed, but I'm going to drop them um, inside, like on the post here. So uh, David is wanting to pray about a new business idea. A new business idea. A new business idea. How do, I'm sorry. Oh. Okay. Can you see it on the screen? Can you pray over David? Yes, and then I, I hit comments. Is that where I'm supposed to be to see all the rest? Yep, in the comments. Yes. Um, dear Heavenly Father, we just... Yes. Dear Heavenly Father, we just come before you boldly, God. 
um, with our hands lifted up, with a heart, with a heart full of praise, Father, just thanking you for another opportunity, another day, God, just to come into your presence. Father, I come now standing proxy for um, Pastor David Lucas, Father. Father, I'm asking now that you begin to blow fresh wind even into his circumstance, even into his life now, Father. Father, I'm asking that there be a download of insight and ingenuity, Father. Father, we know that you created all things. So, Father, I am asking now that you begin to give him the business that will take him to the next pay grade. Father, we thank you, God, that we shall call him millionaire. So Father, even this wow. next business idea that you are about to download into him, Father, Father, I ask that you give him the strategy, God, give him the blueprint, yes, Father, to yes. be able to do the things that he needs to do as it pertains to the business. Father, I'm asking Thank even you. now that you bring businessmen, business women to come alongside of him, Father. Allow them to be a mentor to him, Father. And yeah. Father, even as he gets mentored in this space, Father, I ask that you allow his heart to be open for what he is about to come into. Yes, Father. We thank you, Lord God, that this will be a season where he shall be a student, Father. Father, I ask that you open up his eyes, that you open up his ears father to allow him to hear what is what is saying the lord what thus said the lord father i ask that even as you give him insight even as you give him strategy the blueprint for this new business father Father, I ask now that you even allow him to write the vision and make it plain. Father, I'm asking that you restore vision, Father. Even the vision that has been lost, the vision that has been blurred, Father. The vision that has even been, um, um, he's had a level of disappointment because of what others have said or the things that he feels that he can't do. Father, we even come against now the sabotage spirit that he even um, takes on himself, Father. Father, I thank you, God. God, that in this season, in the season to come, Father, that he's going to be able to handle everything that is coming to him, Father. And Father, I even decree and declare now a WW. Father, yes. that is the weight and the weight. Father, I thank you, God, that even in this next season that you're about to release weight on him, Father. And even as you begin to release weight, Father, you're going to give him the capacity to hold everything that is coming. So, Father, I ask that you allow him to, to lose Lose the weight of carrying others, the weight of carrying false burdens, the weight of carrying the things that he doesn't feel that he's um, good enough to carry, the weight of him feeling as though he's not qualified for what you have for him. Father, I thank you that that weight is being released. But even as you release that weight, Father, I thank you for a new level of weight that is about to hit David now. I speak to your inner man. Father, I thank you, God. And I say that David shall rise up as a businessman. Father, I thank you, God, that even the man that's coming, that they are going to pour, pour, pour. Father, I thank you that this is a season of Elijah and Elisha. So, Father, even as he's in a season to receive, Father, I ask that you allow his hands to be wide open so that he can receive the poor. And so, Father, we thank you. Father, we honor you, God. And we give you all glory and praise in Jesus' mighty name. And it is so, and it will not be otherwise. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you now for Charlene Gardner. God, we thank you. Thank you that you're expanding even her even into the marriage ministry. Father, I thank you that she will have training programs and she will have retreats and conferences, Father, even for the marriages that are coming. Father, I thank you now that she'll even be, her and her husband will even be able to pour God into the single, Yidamase, and that you will have a special anointing for the um individuals that are being married again. I'm hearing the Lord say that you'll have a special anointing, Charlene, for the individuals that are going to be married again. So Father, I thank you that she'll be able to teach them how to love, huh? specifically the man, how to love the wife. Huh? And I thank you, God, that she'll be able to teach uh, her and her husband uh, uh, how the woman should reverence uh, the, the husband in the name of Jesus. God, I thank you that she'll 
be able to speak to the level of communication it happens even in, in the marriage. Uh, I thank you, God, that that money shall flow into uh, the organization that she's going to create uh, centered around marriage ministry. Father, I thank you now that you'll have the support she needs. Yeah, I even see another married couple that's going to be working with you. Charlene. And so we bless God for them. I'm just saying that you need to vet them and keep business, business. Keep business, business. Father, I thank you for the uh, skilled laborers that you're even sending to her for marriage ministry, God. And I thank you, God, uh, that you're going to protect and guide her throughout this entire process. Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask that you would even download into her revelatory knowledge, God, for what needs to happen with the marriages. Father, I thank you now that she will deal with each marriage, God, as a separate entity. Have specifics, yes, God, marriage, biblical, but even as she's going into work with the different families, God, that she would deal with them as entities uh, in the name of Jesus. God, I thank you for manuals. I thank you, God, for books. I thank you for, yes, yeah, specifically uh, recordings. I'm, 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 I'm hearing um, that there will be some recordings. I don't know if this is a podcast or a video recording or an audio recording, but I'm hearing that there's a rec there's recordings that's coming out um, in this space as well. So Father, I thank you now that you give her the strength, you give her the finances, and you give her the wherewithal to get this done. God, protect her and her husband, yea, even her family. God, against the wilds of the in Ushabaya, in the name of Jesus the Christ, we bless you, oh God. Amen, amen, and, and amen. And Charlene, um, go. I hear God saying that um, he's going to have you to create a manual, um, even as the prophet has said, but this is going to be a 12-week manual that you will be able to give to your participants. So even as God begins to download strategy to you, he's going to give you um, activity activities um, that you are supposed to do with your couples for marriage ministry. And even as he begins to do that, even as this becomes a 12 week program, this is going to be a 12 week program. And so after the 12 week program, I, I hear God saying, even at the end of a cycle, at the end of a cycle, I hear a retreat. I hear a retreat. I hear some type of marriage retreat. So, so Father, we thank you um, in advance for this manual, Father. And I ask that you begin to download um, strategy, Father. I ask that you begin to download biblical principles as it pertains to marriage. And even as you download biblical pr principles, Father, Father, I thank you that you're going to give her natural principles to tie in to the spiritual for what is needing to happen for marriage. And Father, um, I pray now. I just decree and declare that even as she moves forward in this marriage ministry, Father, that you put a wall of fire all around about her. Father, I put a blood border around her marriage now. And Father, I thank you and I honor you. And even when the enemy tries to cross, he cannot cross the bloodline. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Heather, can you pray for... Um... I'm going to pray for Gloria. I'm going to pray for Gloria, but I have somebody specifically I want you to pray for. You see if you can find it. This is, um, I think it's this Kat Kangas, K-A-N-G-A-S. You have to go back up in and look and look for that. It was about 913. Hallelujah. Father, Father God, I thank you for uh, Miss Gloria. Father, I thank you that she is petitioning you, Father, for um, the people and even the finances for her business. I want to uh, declare and decree uh, Miss Gloria Deuteronomy uh, 28, 1 through 14 over you. Kitabanduseya. Gloria, before I do that, um, the Lord wants you to increase your level of tithing. He wants you to increase, increase your level of tithing. I do trust that you understand what I'm saying. So um, I declare and decree Deuteronomy 28, uh, really 1 through 14 over you. I'm not going to go through all of it, but it says, and it shall... 
shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken me unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day that the Lord thy God will set thee uh -huh, on high above all the nations of the earth. So God, I declare and I decree the entire Deuteronomy 28, 1 through 14 over Miss Gloria now in the name of Jesus. I specifically decree and declare that all of these blessings shall come on Miss Gloria and overtake Miss Gloria if she shall hark unto the voice of the Lord. So Father, that as she is beginning, God, to uh, shift in this business, God, that you would begin to download into her, Father, and she will listen and do what you tell her to do. Yes, 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 God. We're saying listening and be obedient uh, in this space. God, I thank you for increase. I thank you, Father, that blessed shall be the fruit of her business, yeah, and that you will send the right people and the right company, God, especially men and women with influence that will get her through that one specific door that she needs to get to. Father, I thank you for even business meetings, that those business meetings will be blessed, Father. And the ground she walks on, Father, that that she blessed indeed, Father, and that there will be levels of increase, God, in her storehouse, in her barns, in the name of Jesus. God, I thank you that blessed is her baskets in her store. I thank you, God, that blessed is she. Blessed is Miss Gloria as she goes in and as she comes out. I declare and I decree that this strategy, that the systems and the structures are being downloaded to her now in the name of Jesus. I thank you, God, that she has a marketing budget father i speak to your morning gloria in the name of jesus and i declare and i decree that there should be an expansion in your marketing budget father i thank you that as she goes to this next conference as she goes to the next conference father that you would allow her god to be able to speak from the floor and that that will begin the ball rolling for her specific type of clients i thank you god that increase shall hit her that increase shall hit are now and the right people. I thank you, God, that even as she begins to pray, uh, even as she begins to pray for over and over the business, as she prays for herself, God, that you would give her the words to say, download into her father what makes sense for her specific business. I thank you, God, that she doesn't compare herself. I thank you, God, that you have established her and you have confirmed her and you have preserved her. Father, I thank you now that as she commits her work unto you, that you shall continue to establish her. Father, I thank you that she's the head in her business and not the tail that she is above only and never again beneath in that business. And Father God, in the name of Jesus, I snatch out every space of fear. I say, Gloria, you will not be fearful as you are to do this new thing that God is calling you to. Father, I thank you that her voice is going out. Her lines are out through the entire earth. Yeah, glory. The Lord wants you to um, uh, uh, commit to memory Psalm 19.4, where it talks about your line going out through, through all of the earth and that your words are going to the end of the world. So that's expansion of your voice. That's your voice going out into different locations. So the Lord wants you to really commit that to memory and begin to add that into your affirmations and your declarations. So Father, I thank you that this is so, and it shall not be otherwise, God, that she will have have the right people in her business. She will be positioned in the right locations, her business. Yeah, that you will be positioned in the right locations. So this means that you have to go out and you have to uh, be visible. You have to be present in different spaces for your business. Also, the Lord says that you uh, will have to invest in a um almost like a, a mentor, a mentor. You have, you're going to have to invest in a mentor or somebody who coaches in that specific space. So Father, I thank you that you're sending the right people to her. And I thank you, God, that uh, after this day, God, that things will start to, to roll for her. They will open up, God, and that you will take your right hand and push her for it. So we ask in the mighty name of Jesus the Christ. And we say that it is so, and it shall not be otherwise in the name of Jesus the Christ. Amen and amen. Dr. Henley? Yes. Um, 
Dear Heavenly Father, we just come before you, God, um, just giving you honor and praise, God, thanking you, God, because you are Jehovah Jireh, God. You are Jehovah Nisi, God. You are Jehovah Shalom, God. And so, Father, I ask now that you be a peace, God, a peace that surpasses all levels of understanding for cat, Father. Father, I thank you, Lord God, that you said the mind of the righteous is blessed, Father. So, Father, I thank Thank you, God, that you are blessing her mind. Father, I come against, I cut, I sever every distraction, everything that the enemy is trying to bring her way. I come against it now. I break you out of even the prison in your mind, cat. Father, I thank you, God, that your word says that the steps of a good man are ordered by God. So, Father, I thank you, God, that you are ordering cat steps. Father, I thank you, Lord God, that in this season, even over the next two weeks, Father, you are going to be a light unto her feet, God. I thank you, God. That even as she begins to tread, even as she begins to walk, Father, I thank you, Lord God, that you're about to give her clear direction, Father. Father, I thank you, Lord God, that you call her daughter. Father, I thank you that no longer, your boss Shaka, will she see herself as an orphan, Father, but she sees herself as a daughter. And so, Father, even as she takes on this new countenance, even as she takes on this new position, this, this new posture as daughter, Father, Father, I thank you, God, that you're about to allow her to come to intersect even with her destiny. Father, I thank you, God, that she is a teacher, Father. And I thank you, God, that even as you begin to download, even as you begin to give strategy, even for ministry, Father, I thank you, Lord God, that you're going to continue to cultivate, that you're going to continue to stir even the waters, Father. Father, I thank you, Lord God, that even as it pertains to ministry, as it pertains to calling, Father, that you're about to make your gifts known to her father. Father, I thank you, Lord God, that even who she is, Father, she has been walking in that all along, Father. Father, I ask that you even begin to um cover, uncover her eyes, Father. I ask that you allow her to see clearly, Father. Father, I ask that even as she even begins to take on knowledge, the research, the understanding, Father. Father, I ask that you begin to give it to her clearly and plainly, Father. Father, I thank you, God, that your word says that you give some the anointing of teacher, Father. You give some the anointing of apostle. You give some the anointing of evangelist. You give some the anointing of prophet. You give some the the anointing of pastor. But Father, I ask that even as Cat the teacher rises up, Father, I thank you, Lord God, that you're about to touch her lips, Father. I thank you, Lord God, that her language is about to change. And Father, even as she begins to speak new things about herself, as she begins to spring forth, as you begin to change even the trajectory of the movement that she's making, the people that are around her, Father, I thank you, Lord God, that you're going to make your word plain, Father. And Father, even as it pertains to the last 45 days of her life, Father, I thank you, Lord God, that no longer will she be discouraged in this season, Father. I thank you, Lord God, that you are about to visit her with downloads, God, that you're about to vis visit her with dreams, God. I thank you that you're about to give her new vision, Father, even for where she's to go. Father, I thank you, God, for the women that you're even birthing through her, Father. I thank you, God, that she's in a season of travail. This is her birthing season, Father. Father, I thank you, God, that even though it feels as though she's under pressure, she feels frustrated, she's feeling discouraged, Father. I thank you, God, that this is the season where you're about to make it all make sense. I thank you that you're putting even the pieces of the puzzles together, Father. Even the things that she dreamed about last week, Father. Father, I thank you, God, that you're about to make everything plain. And so I come against every spirit of rejection now. 
I break your curse now. No longer will you have the ability to hold her. I even come against triggers from the past. I come against everything that's trying to keep her stagnant. I break your curse, Leviathan. No longer will you begin able to suck the very life out of Cat. Cat, I said, breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in, Cat. And breathe out. Father, I thank you, God. I even go to the amygdala now, Father. I go to the place of imprinting. I go to the place of where she felt rejection. I go to the place of even depression that's even trying to set and enter in. I come for you now. I strip you. I apply and appropriate the blood of Jesus over you now. I say burn by fire. Roboshe cat, you shall live and not die. I even come against those tormenting tormenting thoughts that comes in your mind that night. The ones that tell you that you can't make it, the ones that tell you that you shouldn't even be here. I come against those now. I come against those soft, still voices that try to tell you that you're not good enough. And Father, I thank you for Cat. I thank you that this is her come alive season. Cat, come alive. Father, I thank you and I honor you, God. And I thank you, God, even for her husband. Robo Shaka. I thank you, God, that you're changing even the dynamics in their house, Father. I thank you, Lord God, that you are shifting some things, Father. And I thank you, Lord God, that your love is about to hit their house now, Father. I bind up even the spirit of confusion, that toxicity that tries to come in from others. Robo Robo Father, I thank you, God, that this is going to be the season where cat goes to you. Robo Shaka. That cat goes even into the secret place. Father, I thank you, Lord God, that you're increasing her prayer life, Father. Father, and even as you begin to deal with her in this season, Father, Father, I ask that you even bring individuals that can pour into cat, Father, that can pour into her spirit, Father, that can pour into her self-esteem, Father, because you call her wonderful. You call her lovely. You call her beautiful. And so, Father, we thank you, God, for this vessel. We thank you, Lord God, that, that this is her season, God, where you're reconstructing her, that this is a transformational season for her. So, Father, I smear the bomb of Gilead. Y'all don't know about shots. I don't know about stop. Father, from the top of her head to the soles of her feet, Father. Father, I ask that every place that she walks, God, that the oil is left. Y'all about shot. This is her greasy season. I'm about shaking it on Oh, Jesus. Father, I thank you and I honor you, God. And I say that it is so, and that every word that has been spoken, it will not fall to the ground. It hit bullseye now in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you for what you're doing, God. I pray now even for Jessica, God. I'm praying, God, that as she is asking and coming before you, Father, for her uh, idea that you you have given her the idea, God. I thank you for the idea that you have given her, God. And I thank you, Father, that you are going to see this thing out. Uh, we know that we prophesy in part and we know in part God as you have given her the inspiration for this idea God I ask that you would blow on it that you will blow on this idea that it will hit the right hands and the right people of influence to cause it to financially expand and yet even explode Father I thank you that this idea is not only a national idea but it is an international yes even a global idea idea. Father, I thank you for patents. I thank you, God, for copyrights. I thank you, God, for trademarks. I thank you, Father, for covering her intellectual property, Father. 
father as she knows and as she this is indeed a new life-changing thing especially in her finances god i thank you for the influence she already currently has and i ask you god that she will go back to the people that she already knows father so that the idea will begin to spread and, and expand up in the name of jesus father i thank you that even as her idea is uh, beginning to be a uh, uh, birthed out uh, that she will begin to uh, carry that thing to full term in the name of Jesus. I bind up the negative thinking. I bind up the negative thoughts. I bind up the negative uh, re uh, uh, recommendations that may try to come and speak deep in when she gets really close. The Lord says that you've got to be really careful because anytime there's promotion, you've got to understand that a dart is going to be going to be thrown. So the Lord says to bring up and hold up your shield of faith, which is going to block every fiery dart. He says to put on your whole armor as you begin to plow forward in the name of Jesus. God, I also thank you. That you are setting up even the groundwork, Father, for the daughter's daycare center. God, I ask in the name of Jesus that there will be safety even in the daycare center, Father, that things shall line up, God, but that it shall be safe. I keep hearing uh, Jessica the word safe. Uh huh. So you space of sea and security uh mainly even from a health standpoint and even from a structural standpoint yes. that there has to be a level of safety before the uh daycare center opens back up so father in the name of jesus we ask god that you would uh create uh, uh give the daycare owners uh the proper structure and even the finances that they need to, to open the doors back up. It seems as if they're going to have to have like a um, some kind of inspection of some sort. So yes. you have to pray into the inspection so that uh, everything lines up and everything is, is in uh, agreement with a space of safety. So Father, I thank you that even God, as she is uh, uh, requesting that the daycare open back up, God, I ask Father in the name of Jesus that you would even send um send the people that can work the daycare properly god in the name of jesus i ask that you would cover them from any sickness as well god i thank you yes, that the um, procedures i just care about the procedures that the procedures yes, are god. in place and i thank you god that there should not be any um infirmities that will try to pop rear its ugly head inside of here yes. so we thank you for policies procedures we thank you for the right employment we thank you for structures we thank you god for the finances for the daycare providers and we thank you god that as they go forth in a in an inspection god that um you would be able father to um to just cover it and just to organize it in a way that this thing will work out for jessica so father thank you for this in the name of jesus we and say not one word shall fall to the ground but it shall accomplish what you sent it to accomplish in jesus name. and Dr. jessica Hillary. i hear the lord saying that um even as you get ready to prepare the daycare center that he's about to bring um some contracts um your way uh, for the daycare center you're not going to have to look for uh, referrals they're going to come to you um these contracts that are that are going to be coming your way um you're going to have a, an overflow of daycare uh, of of children and so because of this I yes God I hear the Lord saying that you're that that your daughter's going to have more than one daycare center and so even as as the prophetess has talked about the policies and procedures it is going to be key and important that you make sure that the individuals that you are bringing in that you that you begin to pray that you all begin to pray that you guys begin to fast and pray even for these contracts for the right people to come in because because once that hit was Woo, Jesus. Once that door, I hear the Lord saying, once that door opens, it will be a revolving door. It will never close, says the Spirit of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Listen, y'all, we are so, I apologize for the glitches and the things that are happening um, in this broadcast. I'm trying to figure out um, 
what to do about it. So please, please, please excuse us uh, with those glitches. Try to go back and catch that replay as well. But we do apologize for the glitches. Uh, let me see. I do see uh, more prayers in here. And listen, thank you all for joining us this evening. Um, and, I'm and I just want to try. I just want to go ahead. Um, Toy, can I do a blanket? Yes, please. Can, toy, can I do just a, uh, yeah. so I was kind of going through the feed and there are a lot of prayers in the feed for businesses, uh, finances, yeah. um, was mm -hmm. the things that I was hearing. So I just want to, I'm going to pray, it. I'm going to pray into this. Um, and then I'm going to, I'm going to let Toyenda come in right after me. Um, uh, because there was a lot of individuals where I just, everybody was talking about business and, and, and finances. So dear heavenly father, we are bombarding heaven now, father, father, your word says, Hey, listen, victories are in the last quarter. So father, I thank you, God, that we are in the last quarter. And Father, I thank you, God, that even as we begin to trade, even as we begin to walk over, even into 2022, Father, I thank you that you're giving us new vision. Father, I thank you, God, that you're restoring vision, Father. Father, I thank you, Lord God, even for the businesses that was put on the shelf, Father. Father, I thank you, God, that we are blowing now on them, Father. I thank you for your breath, God. I thank you for a blast of, of, of fire that's even coming from your nostrils, Father. Father, to ignite even the businesses that have been lying dormant, Father. Father, I ask that you begin to breathe new life even into these businesses, Father. Even the businesses that are already existing, Father. Father, we thank you, God, that this is about to be a rebuild, Father. We thank you, Lord God, for even some of the businesses, God. You're about to give new strategies, God, on what to do even in this season. Father. Father, I thank you, God, that even the individuals that are wanting strategy, Father, I thank you that you're giving them blueprints now, Father. I thank you, Lord God, that even as they begin to visualize, God, what you've already set before them, Father, I thank you, Lord God, that they're going to see it first, Father. And even as they begin to see it, God, even as you begin to give vision, even through pictures, God, even through your nature, God, even through television, Father, I thank you, God, that this vision that they're about to see, Father, that they're about to make it plain, Father, that they're about to write it down, Father. And even as they begin to write it down, Father, I thank you, God, that structure is going to come to it. I thank you, Lord God, that you're about to bring logistics to it, Father. I thank you, Lord God, that you're about to build out the blueprint, Father. Father, we know that even on a blueprint, it starts from just a structure, God. It starts just from small pieces, Father. So, Father, I thank you, God, that you're about to build on top of each other, Father. I thank you, Lord God, that it is going to become this beautiful tapestry, Father, even when it's time to come to fruition. Father, I thank you, God, that even as they get ready, yes, God, to walk into 2022, Father, that you're about to allow them to line up even with your word, God. Father, we thank you, Lord God, that for them to get the blueprint, Father, you're about to take them on a 60-day on a boot camp. Yes, Father, I thank you, God, that this is about to be a time of prayer, Father. They can't get strategy without prayer. They can't get strategy without intimacy. They can't get strategy, God, without worship. They can't get strategy without praise. So, Father, I thank you, God, that this is about to be the season, Father, that you're about to download. And even as they are in a season of travail, even as they are on the floor, Father, on their faces, praying, God, for divine direction, for for insight, Father, for knowledge, God. Father, I thank you, God, that you're strengthening the inner man, Father, because, Father, for where you're about to take them, Father, they have to have a new level of strength. So, Father, I thank you, God, that you're clearing out the clutter in their minds. Oh, oh shit, God. Father, I thank you, Lord God, that even as you begin to clean out this clutter, God, I thank you, Lord God, that they will begin to hear your voice clearly, Father. And so, Father, I even come now.
Father, even against the disappointment, I come against God, even the frustration that has hit your people, Father. I come against all of that now, Father. I come against the low places. I come against the places, Father, where they felt that they weren't good enough, Father, or they felt that they couldn't do the things that you were calling them to do, Father, because they were in a low season or because they were in an isolated season, Father. Father, I thank you and I bless you, Father. I thank you, Lord God, for the the, the pen of the the, the 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 writer's anointing, Father. And I thank you, Lord God, that even as they begin to build, even as they begin to write, Father, that you're about to give strategy, Father. And Father, I ask that you even allow mentors to come, Father. I ask that you allow consultants to come even to your people in this season, Father, to get them ready, Father, for what is to happen in 2022. Yes, Father, I hear you say that this is about to be a jubilee season. You're about to come in, Father, and you are about to blow our very minds, Father. So, Father, I thank you, God, that miracle signs and wonders, God, are about to follow us, Father. I thank you, Lord God, that even as we we begin to open up ourselves. Yes, God. And we begin to look at ourselves in the mirror, Father. I thank you, Lord God, that the ceiling is about to break. I hear a clashing of sound, Father. And I thank you, God, that no longer will we look at ourselves in the mirror and we don't see ourselves but as a daughter and a son. Father, I thank you, Lord God, that you're shifting our minds, God. I thank you, Lord God, that even as we get ready, God, to even go into the new year, Father, that we still have time, Father. I thank you, Lord God, that you're blowing, God. And I thank you, God, that you're about to spring up things that we planted even in the months of January and February, Father. Father, I thank you, God, that the tears that were cried, Father, I thank you, God, that it was a watering place, Father. And I thank you now, God, that things are about to come forth. I speak to finances now, Father. And I thank you, God, that this shall be a Naptar blessing for us, Father. And I thank you for some of us that we're going to even have territories, God, that we're about to take possession over, Father. I thank you, Lord God, that there's about to be houses and lands. Thank you, God, for buildings. Father, I even thank you for grants, God. Thank you for the contracts that's coming for your people, Father. Oh, God. And we say that we love you and we honor you, God. And we present ourselves open for what you have for us. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you, God, for what you're doing, even in the businesses. We thank you, Father, that people of influence are working on behalf of every business owner, God, every speaker, yes, every God. teacher, every educator, every entrepreneur, and every trainer. Father, we thank you. That even as the doctor says, God, that the open doors are happening now, that they're even getting ready for the now that she talks about the new opportunities waiting. Father, I thank you, God, that even as the now is happening, the new opportunities waiting, Father, that we are even prepared and we are even positioned for those open doors. So, God, I as the education and our training and the certifications that we need to add in addition to what we already have. I thank you, God, even for strategy, for structures, for flow in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Father. For even, God, as you are beginning, God, to open us up, God, for 2022, that you will begin, God, to set the pathway, that nothing shall be in the pathway. God, you said that we can run through troops and leap over walls. And so we declare and decree that even in our businesses, that we we will do the same thing. Father, I thank you that voices are going out. Father, that you give us what to say, even as Dr. Henley has said, God, that you will show us and you will tell us what to say as we move into business meetings. I thank you for tables. I thank you, Father, for influence. I thank you, God, that we're sought after in the name of Jesus the Christ, and we bless you for it. We say not one word shall fall to the ground, but it shall accomplish what you sent it to accomplish in the name of Jesus the Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Dr. Henley, for praying for the businesses. This, that was really big, as you said, um, inside of the um, 
inside of the broadcast. So now, God, in the name of Jesus, I just want to go back in and pray for the connections. Yes, because it's too, it's, we can't go it alone. We can't do everything God. alone. So, Father, I thank you Jesus. that you're connecting us, Father, with the right people at the right time in the right season, Father. I thank you, God, that as we are expanding and as we are stretching ourselves, Father, to do the thing that you're asking us to do. We will have the collaborations uh -huh, and the proper partnerships uh -huh, and the proper advisors in the name of Jesus. So we'll have the proper collaboration, the yes, proper co uh, partnership and the proper advisors in this thing that we're doing. God, I thank you that we even do not compare ourselves, Father. And I thank you, God, that we receive everything you have for us, God, even as it relates to the partnership. Heather, I want you to pray for in trust. I want you to, to get into there plow into a trust and interest and vetting uh individuals uh in the name of Jesus. Yes. Um and Father, we just thank you, Lord God, um, that you're about to shift this atmosphere now, Father. Father, I thank you, Lord oh, God. God, that you're about to allow us to know the posture that we are to take even in order for us to have the business, for us to have the ministry, Father, for us to have the finances, Father, for us to have the connections, Father. Father, I thank you, Lord God, that you're changing our language, Father, that you're changing our thought process, that you're changing how we even look at ourselves, Father, even in this thing called interest, Father. Father, I come now, God, and I come against everything that has been even laid on us from our past, Father. When we entrusted um, ourselves to other individuals, when we've given individuals authority over us, our mothers, our fathers, jobs, husbands, friends, boyfriends, I come against that now, Father. And I say that they shall take their rightful place, Father. Father, I thank you, God, that they are about to entrust in you, Father. And I thank you, God, that even as they begin to entrust in you, Father, you are the ultimate ruler, Father. You are the one that we are to give all power to, Father. Father, and even as we come in a surrendering state, Father, Father, I thank you, God, that you're about to change our seats of position, Father. Father, because we know that when it comes to us entrusting, Father, when we begin to entrust in you, Father, you then begin to change our posture, Father. And so, Father, I speak now to everybody under the sound of my voice, Father. I speak, God, that their postures will line up with you, Father. I speak that they shall walk in what you've called them to be, Father. Father, no longer will they come in because um, as a person who's been mistreated or a person that's been abused or a person that's been neglected or rejected, Father, I even come against molestation. I come against rape. I come against abuse now. You are not that. I come for you. No longer will you have authority. No longer will you be able to rule over the men and women of God. I come against psychological triggers. And I say that they shall take their rightful positions, Father. Father, we thank you, God, that your word says you call some prophet. Thank you, Father, that you come some, you call some teachers, Father that you call some deliverers, Father, that you call some pastors, God, that you call some apostles, yes, God. Thank you that you call some evangelists. And Father, I thank you, God, that even as they begin to shift their minds, Father, I thank you, Lord God, that it's about to be a pivot, Father. I thank you, Lord God, that they are about to turn out of one thing and step into another. So Father, I thank you, God, that even as they get up from the place that they're in now and they begin to take a step father i thank you god that everything that was keeping them bound everything that was holding them i say that it falls off now i appropriate the blood of jesus i release i decree jehovah gabor to come even into this space now to the places where they are and father i say throw your weight around throw your weight around god God. Lord, allow them to feel your glory now, Father. Everything that's not like them, Father, I say that it dissipates now. And Father, we thank you and we honor you, God. 
We thank you, God, that this is going to be a new season, Father. We thank you, Lord God, that everything that has already been predestined, God, before the very foundations of the earth, God, that they are about to walk into it now. Father, I thank you, God, for fruits that remain, Father. I thank you, Lord God, that no longer will the fig tree be cursed. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. And Father, I thank you, God, that they shall hit bullseye, Father. I thank you, Lord God, that there's a stirring, Father. I thank you for a stirring, Father. And I thank you, God, that even over the next two weeks, Father, the next 14 days, God, that there's about to be a thirst. There's about to be an increase for your word, an increase for prayer, Father. Father, I ask that you even begin to hit them now. Father, I ask that their knees begin to burn up. That it begins to burn. I say burn. And Father, I thank you, God, that even as they begin to speak a thing, God, that it's going to be established in heaven as it is in earth, Father. And I unravel, I bind up every plot, every plan that the enemy has set for the women and men of God under the sound of my voice. I even speak to your spirit, man. I come, I appropriate the blood of Jesus over every track, every place that your spirit, man, has even floated or entered into, every address. I close the door. And I put a blood border. And when the enemy sees the blood, he has to cross over. And Father, I thank you and I honor you, God. And I even speak to Francine. Francine, I hear the Lord saying that this is a blooming season for you. Oh, Jesus. And even as God begins to move you forth, even in business, God is about to shift you and change your very language, woman of God. See, prophet, God is saying that you have to move in kingdom. You're a kingdom panure. So I speak that everything that you touch, it becomes blessed. I speak that there shall be a colliding now of ministry and business. And I speak that every word curse that has been spoken over you, that has been spoken over your business, that's been spoken over your mind, I burn it up by fire now. Francine, I hear God say that you shall live and not die. And I even come for the witch. I speak to you now. Take your hand off of her neck. I break your curse. Loose and let her go. Oh, And we thank you, Father, and we honor you, God. And we say that every word that's been spoken, that it will not fall. And every witch that tries to come against the word of God, you shall lose your life. I feel God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. And it is so. In Jesus' name, amen. Ah, woo! Thank you, Jesus. Oh, bo, 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 she come up, I'm sick. 
Oh God. Hallelujah. Ooh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, I, I don't see that I need to add anything to Francine, but I did hear the Lord talk about the seven mountains and he specifically said that even your religion mountain, even your business and even media will begin to collide, that they will begin to converge together. Father, I thank you for what the has already prayed. And I thank you, God, that Francine will dominate and rule in those three, in those three areas, and they shall converge together. And so we say that it is so, and it shall not be otherwise. Ooh, Jesus. Father, I thank you now for every you you got something you want to go ahead and shout go ahead. Go ahead. Ooh, I hear the Lord saying that 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 the that the witches. They brewing y'all over the men and women of God, over the prophets. Tarina, I see Kobobosha, Bridget, Obosha, Katerabosha. Woo, Jesus, Pam, Ushina, Nyo no, Nyo no, Bosika, Robosha, Katerabashika. Woo, Jesus, Obobosha, Katerabasa. Who, Father? Father, I thank you, God, for the men and women of God. And I am covering your apostles. I'm covering your prophets now. I'm covering your, your pastors and your evangelists, your fivefold ministry. The enemy is trying to suck us dry. But I come for you. Woo! Jesus. And I hit bullseye now. I speak a homicide right now in the spirit. Take your hands off of the fivefold ministry. Hey, woo, Jesus. Ha, ya, 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 the no boshika. Ooh, kanana, na, yo, no, no, ye, no, no boshina, na, si, no, 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 stiata. Ah, ye, ni, ni, yo, no boshina, na, na, ye, no, 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 kat, ye, ne, 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 basi, hey. Ooh, God, ye, ne, 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 basi, kan, yo, no, si, kata. Woo, Jesus. He, ka, ba, ba, si, ko, bo, bo, shika. Thank you, Father, that you're keeping them, Father. Father, I ask that every plot and plan, every scheme, every diabolical word, even from, from individuals, from past seasons, Father, we cut you, we burn you by fire now. Take your mouth off of the men and women of God. And I speak that your tongue shall be stuck to the roof of your mouth. Let their jobs go. Woo, Jesus, let their minds go. Robo shekata na na basiko. Let their bodies go. Woo, shikabat yo na mo siata. Woo, woo, shikabat siko. My God, I say it is so. Yo bo shekata na na basiko. Woo, I smear the oil. Ha shekabat na na basika. Yo koba na 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 si o God yada na mo siata. The oil, shot to saturate them from the top of their heads to the soles of their feet, God. Yo God, yo no ba restore, restore, restore. Hanobo shiatara basika. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to your name, Jesus. Hey, God, yada na ba shia. Jesus, ba 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 si. Oh God, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Father, we thank you. We thank you, God, for everything that you have done, even on this broadcast tonight. Uh, Father, we thank you, God, that you have placed a hedge of protection around you. 
each and every one of us. Father, we thank you, God, even as the prophet has said uh, that she has prayed for uh, the fivefold ministers, Father, that she has prayed for even the people, God, uh, that are serving you. God, I thank you that the attacks are canceled now in the name of Jesus. I thank you, God, that there's a level of, of even restoration, God, that's coming to your fivefold ministers. Uh, I thank you, God, that even as the restoration is coming, God, that you will begin to revive even the fire that's even on the inside of us in the name of Jesus. God, I thank you now that you have heightened even our discerning, even the discerning of spirits. Uh, I thank you, Father, that we will be able to vet God, anybody, Father, that we bring into our circles, Father. I thank you now, Father, that even as a minister and for every minister, Father, that we will not accept anybody into our space because we need the help. Father, I thank you now that you're readjusting us, uh, that you're recalibrating every minister, Father, every apostle, yes, God, every prophet, uh, every teacher, pastor, evangelist, every minister, God. Uh, yes, God. In the name of Jesus, Father, I thank you that you're even healing the bodies uh, of the ministers, Father, even the people uh, that are carrying the cloth, the people of the cloth, Father. I thank you now that you're going down even into every space of inflammation. Uh, I thank you, God, uh, that you're going even into the headaches, God. Uh, and I declare and I decree uh, that the headaches shall stop, that the inflammation shall go down, that the water shall come out in the name of Jesus. I ask God that even because of a level of a stress, God, mm. that you will begin, ah. God, to work it out. You will see, God, in your ministers, God, and in your leadership, God, in the name of Jesus, that you will begin, Father, to regulate even the blood sugar, that you will begin to even regulate, God, the, the hypertension in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you now that even I go down into the knee system, the knee joint, even behind the patella and I, and even behind the meniscus, and I say uh, that you shall line up uh, and that the, 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 uh, uh, the fibers, the, um, the muscle that even belongs there, Father, would be there. I go down even into the backs, uh -huh, into the yeah. lower back and the upper back, Father, of your minister, of your apostle, of your preacher, your pastor, of your evangelist, your teacher, your apostle. I go into their back system and I straighten it out now. Yeah. I straighten it out now in the name of Jesus. I begin now to go in uh, and I release the stress uh, that's yes, sitting here, that's washed here on every minister. Just as even as this is uh, uh, um, clergy appreciation month, Father, I ask God, now, God, that you would give every clergy member a settling in the spirit that you will settle them God in the spiritual realm and I snatch out every stress of every level of stress God every thought of stress father every physical stress now in the name of Jesus I even bind up even the fear that begins to come up against the ministers uh, and the leadership uh, of people leaving. Uh, I thank you, God, uh, that the individuals that are supposed to be in the ministries, God, uh, that they would even be there and they will carry the load uh, and they will do the work of the ministry. Industry. Father, I thank you now. The ministers uh, are going forth, God, in the name of Jesus. I ask God now that you would open up new opportunities uh, and open up new buildings and doors. God, I go down into the financial system, the accounting system of every leader, every minister, everybody who has uh, some type of ministry, God. And I go into the financial structure and I ask God that you would touch there in the name of Jesus. That there would be provision there, God and that we will be good stewards uh, over the money you give us. Father, I ask you now, God, uh, that you would even straighten up the hands. Uh, I'm even feeling that there's some uh, 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 ca ca carpal tunnel or some uh, arthritic uh, spaces that are in the hands of the people of the yes, God. Oh, ministers of the pastors, the leaders. Uh, Al, I, I, I bind up the hand of the enemy and I lose its effects uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, I say uh, that they will be able to function uh, back to their original design. Uh, I thank you, God, uh, that even as we send this word of healing, because Ooh, of stress, uh, 
to dissipate now in the name of Jesus. I declare and I decree that their hands will be healing hands. And Father, you will protect them. And Father, you will cover. Yes, God. And Father, you will preserve every clergy member connected to me, connected to uh, yes, uh, uh, every uh, uh, leader that's on this broadcast and everybody who's, who's going to watch even the replay. Uh, and so, Scott, we say that this is so, and we say that it shall not be yes, otherwise. Uh, it is so, and it shall not. Hey, I just even come up against some stomach pain. I don't know who has stomach pain, but I come up against even the stomach pain. I settle even the stomach. I settle the nauseousness uh -huh, in the stomach stomach in the name of Jesus. And I ask God to apply the blood of Jesus as well as the balm that is there in Gilead. And I say, thank you, God. And I say that it is so, and it shall not be otherwise. In the name of Jesus the Christ, amen. Hey, we thank you, God, amen. for healing. Amen and deliverance we thank you god for we thank you that it is so and it shall not be otherwise. yes god thank you god. thank you god thank you god so father we thank you even for this time of prayer and we thank you god yes you have uh, uh, you said it, if, if um Two or three are gathered, Father. That if two or three are gathered, Father, that you shall be in the midst of us. And so we thank you, Father, for coming in to this broadcast. We thank you, God, for, for coming in and showing up for us, God, and caring about us. You care about every little thing thing that concerns us and thank you we thank you oh god we thank you that it is so and it shall not be otherwise heather can you please seal this up please seal this up andy basia dear heavenly father we thank you god and we honor you god just for what you're doing. We thank you, Lord God, for this time of intercession, for this time of prophetic intercession, Father. And Father, I ask now that even as we begin to, to, to walk into another day, as we begin to settle ourselves, God, as we begin to settle our minds, Father, and, and get ready to, to have sweet slumber and sweet rest, Father, I'm asking that every word that has been spoken on tonight, Father, that you be begin to allow us to regurgitate it, Father, that we begin to think about it, that we begin to ruminate on this word, Father. Father, for we know that we have to war after our word, Father. So, Father, I'm asking that even as you begin to allow us to ruminate, Father, that you expand our capacity, Father, to hold what is coming to us, Father. Father, we thank you, God, for miracles, signs, and wonders. Father, we thank you, God, that you have restored, Father. We thank you, Lord God, for healing, God, that has just taken place, Father. Father, we thank you, God, that spiritually, supernaturally, you have just placed a rod in our backs, Father, that you've put rods in our ankles, Father, for us to be able to stand, Father. So, Father, I ask that you begin to give us a fresh wind, Father. Allow us to drink, 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 Father. Drink from the well, God, that never runs dry. Father, I ask that this water begins to quench our thirst, Father. Our thirst for you, God. Our thirst for worship. Our thirst for righteousness, Father. Father, we say that it is so, Father. We say that every word that's been established, God, that it was decreed and declared in heaven as it is in earth, God. And so, Father, we thank you, God, that it is going to accomplish everything that it's set to accomplish. Father, we thank you, God, it is going to hit the bullseye, Father. We thank you God, that, that our names are in the winds, Father. Father, we thank you, Lord God, that you allow us to walk into new businesses, God. We thank you, God, for new strategies, Father. And Father, we thank you, God, that this was only the proclamation, Father. Father, because we know that it had already been set in motion, Father. And all we did was proclaim what you had already promised us. Woo, Jesus. So, Father, we thank you and we honor you. 
And Father, I ask that you allow us to have sweet sleep, God, that we have brain plasticity, that we are rejuvenated, that we are restored, God, that we are revived, God. Lord, I thank you, Lord God, that there's even being a, a transformation in us, Father. I thank you, Lord God, that deliverance has even taken place, Father. And I thank you, Lord God, that we look unrecognizable even now. So Father, we thank you, we honor you. We give you all the praise that you are due, God, because your name is great, God. You're an awesome God, a mighty God, a wonderful God, an all-knowing God, Jesus. a God that never fails us, and a God whose promises are always yes and amen. So, Father, we thank you and we honor you, and we say that it is so in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen, amen. Amen. God, we thank you. Uh, Dr. Healy, what's your cash app, just in case people want to sow into you? Father, I ask, Heather, can you put that in the comments? Father, I even ask God now in the name restore Doc Henley. Father, give her back strength and give her back energy, Father, for everything that she's poured out. God, everything that she is in need of, God, I ask that you would do it for her. I ask that you would strengthen her, even her family. I ask that you would strengthen even, God, her business, that you would even strengthen, Father, everything that she put her hands to, every place that the soles of her feet shall tread, God, that you shall strengthen her and give her back the power, the authority, and the energy. God, I thank you that you cover her with the blood of Jesus. I say now, and I did clear and decree that no hurt, harm, or danger shall come before for her, there will be no um, my spirits for what she has to do in her new level. Mm, no monitoring spirits. I, I applied the blood of Jesus over you and I smear it even over your tracks uh, so that the enemy can't track you, the enemy can't trace you. And I declare and I decree that you shall indeed have a new heavenly language, that you shall speak in other and diverse tongues, that you will begin to speak in those realms. Uh, and as you as you go up into those realms, Dr. Henley, and that God said oh, Satan is going to be shook. Yeah. So, God, we thank you for the realms and we thank you for the new language that's coming to your woman, your woman of God now in the name of Jesus. Cover her and her family. No sickness, no disease, no anxiety, no concerns. Cover heart with the blood of Jesus in the <clears throat> amen amen name of Jesus the Christ amen amen I don't, amen. I don't know how to, I don't know how to oh I don't know what what is it it's it's moments I don't know how to put anything in the the feed okay what what is your what is it um moments with Heather teachable moments what is yeah your, it's um I think it's moments with Heather I sure? had to think about it let me look I don't I'm sorry, okay. y'all. So that's okay. What I, I also, um, so what I'm going to do, y'all, listen, I want to thank you for joining us tonight. I'm going to put my cash app in. Moments with Heather. If you want to sew into Toy Industries, Okay. If you want to sew into Toyenda Lachey Ministries, I have <coughs> dropped um, even my cash app up. I thank you for joining us. Thank you, Prophetess Karina, joining us this evening. My cash app is dollar sign Toyenda Smith. And doc, listen, up and out, Dr. Hill. I mean, and so, somebody in here, somebody, listen, I'm picking it up. Somebody in here needs to go ahead on it up and, and, and cough. I need you to just cough. Somebody on this on this feed needs to cough. Breathe in Let and breathe out and cough. Up and out. Because I'm starting to feel a... Yes, somebody God. needs to breathe in and breathe out. Just cough. I just need you to cough. Everybody, can you just take Ooh. a breath in and breathe out? Listen, it ain't over. Take a breathe in and breathe out. I, I, need, you to, I need you Thank to breathe you in and breathe out and cough. Thank you, God. Thank Amen. you, God. So listen, um, we appreciate you joining us this evening. Uh, we're just doing what God, listen, Francine says everybody calls. <laughs> we just um, listen up and out. We just thank God for the ability to be trusted to pray over God's people. 
And so if you want to sow into um, the prophet, uh, Dr. Henley, it is dollar sign moments with Heather. It's moments with Heather. Uh, Dr. Henley, I want to give you an opportunity to um, introduce yourself beyond what you just did on here. Tell us a little <laughs> bit about yourself and how people can find you as well. Oh, praise the Lord. Uh, so my name is um, Dr. Heather Henley. Toyenta is my biological sister, y'all. Um, but I am now in South Carolina, Columbia, South Carolina. Uh, you can find me on heather-henley.com. Um, just reach out to me. I'm on Instagram at, at heather-henley. You can find me on Twitter at Heather Henley. You can find me on Facebook um, on under Arthur Heather Henley. Um, listen, reach out. Reach out. Drop me a DM. Uh, I, you know, I'm always here. I want to pray. Uh, you know, I, I love God's people. And so my thing is the, is the mind. And I like to come against psychological warfare that the enemy tries to bring. Um, deliverance is my portion. So I love deliverance. I, I flow in deliverance. Um, I'm so honored just to be on here uh, with my sister. It's always a pleasure uh, to, to serve alongside of her. Um, so definitely reach out um, to me. Uh, I'm, I'm here. Uh, I'm going to try to be on uh, with her every other week now that my life has stabilized. How many know that that this is a, this is the season where God is about to stabilize some things because <laughs> We too busy. We we got too much going on and God can't really minister to us and use us the way he wants to because we busy. But listen, he said we busy doing nothing. We in everybody else's busyness mm. instead of the busyness that God has for us. So listen, God is about, mm. hey, listen, mm. I hear God clearly. He's about to do a new thing. Oh my God, he's about to do it. And so I'm excited about what is about to happen. Pam, I don't know who you are, but Pam, I need the praise report. God is about to break uh, open some things in your life. Uh, I, I see you in a, almost like in a cage, but I, I see the hammer coming down. And as it comes down, it's a blow. And I see everything around you is about to crumble before you, woman of God. So get ready because when it crumbles, you're going to break free. That's going to be your breakout season, uh, says the spirit of the Lord. And so praise the Lord. Look, y'all done got me all started. Dr. Henley, since you, since you still <laughs> third, I want you to pray for my friend's other. Her name is Apostle uh, Cynthia Carter. I want you to pray for my friend's mother, Apostle okay. Cynthia Carter. <clears throat> Dear Heavenly Father, and we Jerry says, go ahead, I'm sorry. Okay, dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you, Lord God, for Apostle Cynthia Carter, Father. Father, I am asking now that you just go in, Father, and that you be the wind beneath her wings, Father. Father, I'm asking that you even begin to give her um, even strength, Father. I feel her strength has been depleted, Father, and it's almost like she's, she's grasping to take breath. So, Father, I ask now, God, that she begin to feel your breath, God, that she begin to fill your weight, God. And even as you lay on top of the apostle, Father, I ask that your mouth goes over her mouth and that we have mouth to mouth resuscitation, Father. I ask that you begin to blow. <sighs> that you begin to blow even into your servant. Father, I ask that you begin to blow new life into her now, Father. Father, I ask that every toxin, Father, that's even trying to stress her, Father, that's trying to keep her bogged down, Father, we thank you, Lord God, that it's being released now, Father. I thank you, Lord God, that there's about to be a breaking out, Father. I thank you, Lord God, that healing is about to hit Apostle Cynthia Carter's life right now, Father. Father, I even speak to her body, Father. I even speak to inflammation, Father. I even speak to even fibroids. I yab up, up, up her, Father. And we say that they shall burn like fire. Every weight that's trying to hold her down, Father, we ask that it be lifted now, Father. And even as she begins to give the weight to you, Father, in this season where she's carrying everybody, Father. Father, I ask that there be a transference, Father, that she begins to give 
give you the weight, God, and that you begin to give her weight, Father. Father, I thank you, God, that her authority is changing in this season. I thank you, God, that her language is changing, Father. I thank you, Lord God, that you're giving her the strength, the ability, God, to decree a, a thing, Father, and to even delegate, Father. The weight that she's carrying, Father, can be delegated to others, Father. So, Father, I thank you, God, that you're about to give her a level of trust, Father. And I thank you, God, for even the place, God, in her mind where people have mishandled her, Father, where, where she wasn't able to trust, Father. I thank you, Lord God, that you are bringing a level of restoration to her now, Father. Yes, God. Father, I thank you, God, for restoration that's coming even to Apostle's mind, Father. Father, I even go back to her childhood. I go back to the place of vulnerability, Father. I go back to that place where she was unprotected, Father. I go back to that place, God, where she was vulnerable, Father, and she didn't have the proper covering. And Father, I even speak now, God, that you begin to even go even into the imprinting of her mind, God, and that you begin to squeeze out even, God, those memories, those false memories of being dropped, the false memories of being unprotected, God. And I ask that you begin to come in and sweep, God. That your blood begins to come in and flow, Father. We even bind up that spirit of depression, Father. We bind up the spirit of heaviness, Father. And so, Father, I lose liberation. I lose your hope, Father. And I lose a new level of joy, Father, even for the things that she's lost. I even speak to the grief. I speak to the grief from five years ago, Father. And I ask that you begin to settle the matter in her mind now. Oh, Father. And I thank you, Lord God, that she's about to run, Father, like never before. And I thank you, Lord God, that you're giving her even the spirit of a gazelle, Father. And as she begins to run this race, Father, that you're going to give her a new strategy, even on how to lead, God, even how to lead the individuals, God, that you've called her to, Father. And I thank you, Lord God, that even her, her, her spiritual children, Father, this is going to be a season where they begin to pour into her like never before, God. And I thank you, God, that they're going to be able to hold her arms up, Father, even in this season, God. They're going to be able to come in and they're going to be able to wrap love loving arms around her, Father, and just hold her up, Father. So, Father, I thank you, God, for this new level of love that is about to hit your apostle, Father. I thank you, God, for the love that's about to overtake her, that's about to saturate her, Father, even now, Father. And so, Father, we thank you and we honor you, God. And, I, and we say that it is so and it will not be otherwise. In Jesus' mighty name, amen, amen. Amen. Thank you. Oh, God, we thank you for it, God. Um, uh, evangelist Jennifer, Jennifer Cook, God says you tiptoeing around it. He says you're tiptoeing around it. He says, I've called you fully to go forth and, and you can work with God on on what he's saying, but he says, I called you fully to go forth. He says, I called you fully to go forth. And he's saying it with a a strong inflection, ah, and he says you cannot be worried uh, about what other people think. He says I've called you to do a great work, especially in this area, ah, Yokobande. He says you got to go forth. Uh, he says as you go forth, I will indeed send a hedge of protection. He says I will close your ears to the naysayers. He says I will pour funding uh, into the vision that I've called you to. So, God, I thank you that Jennifer is a uh, uh, evangelist. Jennifer is going for all the way forth, that she does not tiptoe around it, but that she will do the work as you have assigned her to do, and she will move in a level of obedience, God, and that obedience, Father, will open up the doors in a domino effect. I'm talking finances, I'm talking uh, 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 um, uh, like business acumen like never before. He says, you haven't seen anything yet. He says, yes, I've always answered you. Yes, I've always poured into you. He says, but I need you to take one more 
or step out. And this time that big step. So Father, we thank you that you give her the capacity to do it. We thank you, Father, that she has the protection around her. And we thank you, God, that she will not be moved by men. <laughs> you won't be moved by men in the name of Jesus the Christ. Amen. And Jerry, Amen. I hear Jerry, I hear the Lord saying that um there's about to be new strategy for you. Um I I almost see that as it pertains to ministry, it's almost like uh there's about to be a tearing. And and so I, I see pieces of paper being torn up. And and I hear the Lord saying that that it's about to be a rebuilding season for you, for you and your ministry. And so as God begins to show you this rebuild, it's going to come from a level of of almost like a a, a, a university or an academic a center where you are going to be able to be a hub to even pour into ministries. Um, I, man of God, I don't know where you at, what you do. But I hear God saying that that they're they're coming, that ministries are coming, that churches are coming, and that they're going to be coming to you for a level of 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 almost education, almost like you're going to create systems for other churches. You're going to be able to um uh, bring them from that place of 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 maybe fresh starting, and you're going to help them to be centered. You're going to help them to be structured and stable. You're going to provide the resources that's needed for churches so that they can be planted. So Jerry. God is saying to get ready because there's about to be a ripping. I see it. The papers are ripping and there's about to be a new blueprint. So even as God begins to deal with you, because Jerry, he's been dealing with you. You've been having some issues sleeping, but I need you to know that that's God. That is the hand of God. And so as God is, is, is having you to be, um, uh, uh, woke at night, he is going to begin to download and give some type of vision or strategy for you, um, even for this next season, um, for ministry and for the individuals that, that are going to be coming alongside or, or curriculums that, or, or what you're supposed to be doing, um, says the spirit of the Lord. Hey man, listen, y'all, y'all trying to keep us on here all night. <laughs> and I've been ministering this weekend at church this morning, <laughs> tonight. So listen, we gonna have to, we bless God for what he's doing, y'all. We do. We bless God for, you know, um, the prophets are stirred. I see prophet Tarina. I see prophet Francine. I mean, we need to, listen, we need the prophets to be on here. The, right. the fourth listen. Sunday of the Come month. Come on. I are see the prophet got on? exclamation points. Prophet listen. Tarina, where you at? Your body yes, listen. God. We need Woo. the prophets on here ministering to the people. It'll break it up for us. We still got to do the work. We know that we got to do the work, but it'll break it up for everybody um, to just kind of go in. You shot. And Jerry, where and I just I saw where even more. Where did you move? Us. Again, we're in the accompaniment of the prophet. Where did Jerry move What'd to? You say, where did Jerry? I just oh. saw that he did relocate. Okay. Where did you move to? I put something in the feed. Look, check it out. You see the comments, Heather? Okay. He says, he says, I am a pastor just relocated to another area. Entrepreneurship for transportation as well. And he says, yes, Lord. Oh, he just moved to North Carolina. Oh, here he is. He said, Greenville, North Carolina to Raleigh, North Carolina. Amen. Okay. Come on. All right. He's, he God, is, he God is about to do some, some different things up in for you, sir. I, I need you to know you left your hometown. You were supposed to, you know, prophets, pastors, they ain't honored in their own home. God is about to blow on some things for you in, in, in Raleigh or wherever, North Carolina, the new place. Amen. Amen. So God, we thank you for everything that you've done. And we are still Tarina this said we should have called her. It's again. You know what, Prophet? Prophet Tarina? Prophetess? Prophet Tarina. 
Okay. So we are always on the If you look at me, I'm under the blood, blood. y'all. <laughs> we are always on the I'm second. I'm just under the blood. I'm under the blood. <laughs> We are on the second and fourth Sundays of every month at 9 a.m. East. I also want y'all to join me in the morning. Yay, Yvonne, good. I also, wait a minute, Yvonne, you're saying you're going to be on the broadcast or you coming to prophesy? <laughs> but I want you Next all time? to join um, us. Listen, I want you to join us every Monday at 10 a.m. The Lord has inspired um, or put an inspiration in me to do what's called a press and pray. Oh, she said no, to do a press and pray. L Listen, <laughs> do a I, pray I need, every Monday. I so need y'all to be. Yes, I need y'all to tune in on Mondays to press and pray. I need you to tune in on Tuesdays to Church Without Walls. Prophetess Tarina Brown Ministry, she does a Bible study. So I need you Mondays. What is it? Press and pray? Is that what it is? Toward? Press and pray? I need y'all on Mondays at 10 a.m. 10 a.m. I need you on press to pray. God's got a word, and I need you to hit up yeah, the ministries. Absolutely. Thank you. Amen. Thank you so much, Yvonne. We appreciate it. Um, Prophet Francine says she's checking her. Um, she's gonna check her schedule. Amen. Amen. Come on. Amen. So listen, Amen. Oh, the prophet is, is in the house. Listen, I know. Don't leave us out here. So we bless God again, you all, for everything that he's done tonight. And we do seal this up again. And we say that not one word shall fall down, but it, they will attempt it to accomplish. The other thing, you all, is that we have to war after our prophetic words. We know that the prophecy mm -hmm. came in part and we know things in part. So you've got to push in and you've got to pray and press into this thing so that God can do a thing, so that God can do a, oh, yes, yes, yes. Pray for me. Switzerland is my, my God, prophet. Amen. I'm, I'm putting heaven, heaven and Come already prophet. sent you out. Listen, uh, I didn't listen. Uh, I didn't sit um, you got you got to pray. You got to have to your word. The Bible says that since the days, yes, since the days of John the Baptist, the the um kingdom suffers violence, and the violence have to take it by force. And so we got to press into this thing. We can't let that Satan and his goons um, punk us. His we we got to press into this thing and we got to pull down everything God has said that's stuck in the second heaven. Listen, my, my pastor, Mr. Uh, Apostle Tony, he was like, look, the second heaven is the problem. We got to get up in there. We got to pray up in there so that the that the things of the spirit can be released to us. So, um, yes, 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 yes. Absolutely. But um, Prophet Francine, we bless God for the souls that will be uh, saved over in Switzerland. And we thank God that this will be a continual um, relationship that you're going to build in this atmosphere, in this place. We thank God that your influence in Switzerland will be able to transform even educational and religious structures. So it seems like you're going to go in in two spaces. So we thank God that this is so and it shall not Amen. be otherwise. Yes, and we yes. thank the Lord that you have every financial need Amen. met in that space. Amen and amen. amen. Um, Lamika sent me a amen. message and I still ain't got to that message. Lamika, I, I hope it ain't about prayer. <laughs> I saw that yes. you said to read. Well, I, I just want to say that... Um, you know, even as uh, Prophetess Toy has said, you know, it is just important that we war over our words. But as we begin to war over our words, we have to know that God created created us to be prophetic vessels. That's why the Bible says that My we mind. have the power, right? The authority to speak yeah. life and death, right? Okay, so, so we have a level of power. But listen, because we have been bought with a price, we automatically have the authority. So I need you all to understand authority that 
that you walk in. So you not only have the power, but God has given you the authority to speak to it and it has to be God. established. So I need you guys to war Ooh. over your word. I need you to speak it every day. Everything that God has said about you, everything yeah. that, 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 that it, people have said about you, the prophets have said, the things that God has said, I need you to speak it every day. Every day, every day, it needs to be a uh, to be come a part almost of your DNA. And Hallelujah. so, when it becomes a part of your DNA, when you open your mouth, the only thing you can do is walk in the authority that He's given you. Because see, at that moment, you know who you are, right. and you know whose you are. Hey, thank you. And so, then all you got to do is speak it. Oh God, Heather, can you? Um, I'm looking for a scripture for um. I think I just posted um, for Yvonne. Can you pray? And then I'm going to find this scripture and work to pray this scripture for her. She says, full. She says, seriously, y'all pray for full recovery for me. All right. So, so dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for um, Yvonne Hunt. We thank you, Lord God, um, for her body, Father. We thank you, God, for what you're doing. And so, Father, I renounce now every work, Father, of infirmity that's been assigned against your daughter. Father, I claim healing right now from any and all disorders in Jesus' name. I decree, Father, I rebuke of the Lord over your daughter, Father. I rebuke over the Lord her cardiovascular system, Father, her nervous system, Father, her skeletal system, Father, her digestive system, Father, her endocrine system, Father, her respiratory system, Father, her molecular system, Father, Lord, I just thank you, God, for her muscular system, Father. Father, we speak of full recovery, Father. I ask now that every organ, every tissue, Father, that it goes back to the original state, Father, that you um, created it, Father. I ask that it begins to do everything that it needs to do. Father, I ask that your blood begins to take root, that our DNA begins to even be intertwined, interchanged, even with your blood, Father. Father, oh, I God. even rebuke all gen um, genetic disorders, Father, and any type of assignment to ruin her health to come against what you said about her, to come against who you've called her to be, Father, to cause her to be stagnant, to cause her to be tired, to cause her to not have the strength to run, Father. We just come against that right now, Father. And I decree and declare, Father, that even as her health prospers and her soul, and that her soul prospers in you, Jesus. And Father, we just thank you and we honor you, God, we thank you, Lord God, that this is going to be a, a season of rest, Father. And Father, we know that even in a season of rest, God, when you put us in a place where we have to rest, Father, that that means that we are resting in you, Father. So, Father, I ask that you continue to give her a peace, Father, even in her mind, Father that you give her a peace that surpasses all levels of understanding, Father, so that she can fully rest, Father. I even speak to her mind. I quiet her mind now. Even the clutter, even the voices, even the torment that comes to try to tell her that she's not healed and delivered. You know, the torment that tries to bring levels of fear that whatever she was dealing with was coming back. Father, we thank you, God, and we honor you, God, that she is healed and delivered, God. And so, Father, we ask all these blessings in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Amen. And Yvonne, um, this is the scripture for you to meditate on. Uh, it is Psalm 18, really two through six. Uh, I am going to, I have it in the New King James. I want this in NIV, okay? It says, the Lord is my rock my fortress and my deliverer. My God is, hey, my rock in whom, in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Three, I call 
I call to the Lord who is worthy of praise and I have been, yes, saved from my enemies. I'm talking about the enemies of your soul. Mm -hmm. The cords of death entangled me. The torrents of destruction overwhelmed me. The cords of the grave coiled around me. The snares of death confronted me. Listen, in my distress, I called to the Lord. I cried to my God for help for his temple. Temple, God heard my voice. My cry came before him into his ears. So God, I thank you now that even as Yvonne, God, before she goes to sleep tonight, Father, that she's going to use her sound. Eba, no shiande, ya. that you're going to use your sound uh, to break open the healing uh, and the deliverance that you need even on tonight. Uh, yeah. Psalm 18, 2 through 6 is your portion, daughter. Let it be so, and it will not be otherwise. Thank you, Father. Amen. Thank you. The righteous that cry out Hallelujah, and God, he that it is done. And he delivers. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Righteous Yvonne, the righteous cry out and he delivers. Ah, yeah. Come on, come on. Say it again. The righteous cry out and he delivers. Yeah. And even as prophetess said, prophetess Tarina said, this is going to be according to your faith, woman of God. Because God has already done it. So so I want to go back to this whole proclamation because God's been dealing with us on this proclamation. Uh, here's the thing. God has already said it. So when the proclamation come, when the prophets come, when we come to prophesy, when we come to pray, we are only proclaiming what God has already set in motion in the heavens. So we just announcing it now. It's already been in motion it's already happening so now we are just proclaiming it in the atmosphere and so your vine we just need you to catch up with it because it's already been proclaimed so it's going to be according to your faith your faith is going to ignite this he's already done the work he's already done the work He's already done the work, Yvonne hear me he's already done the work he's already done the work he's already done the work Woo. Oh, Jesus Yes, God, it is your birthright. That is correct, prophetess Tarina. It's non-negotiable. It's your birthright. And listen, we don't negotiate with demons anyway. We don't negotiate with spirits. We, we, we call them up and out. And it's already been called up and out. Amen. I've been um, praying this song, this song, The Blood. Is still the blood, y'all. Toya, if you speak until you froze, I can't hear you. I'm I'm quite mute. Go ahead on and play. Oh, okay. Play can y'all can you hear this? Can you hear it? Can you hear the song? It's just a little bit. Just a little bit. Can you hear it now? Yeah. I was a Outside the sea, and the word comes, you will let go. What word I did will work again. I know the time is here. And I had it. No one could help. I tried them all. Okay. My last try, I 
And what worked by then will work again. I know that God is sent to die. No, how precious, how beautiful this priceless love I've come to know.
Thank you, God. Yes, God, yes, God. It will never lose its power. Thank you, God. Get rid of your condemnation. Hallelujah, Jesus. Cause it'll never love. Yeah, that's good news. That's good news. That's good news. That's good news. It will never lose its power. It never lose, never lose its power. It will never lose its power. Woo. It will never lose its power. Still works. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. There's a blood. Ooh, the blood. Ooh, shout out to you. Yes, God. Yes, God. It will never lose its power. It will never lose its power. Oh, 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 it'll never lose its power. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. I am covered by covered I'm covered by you. I'm covered by you. I'm Oh, are you covered by your blood? Yeah. Oh, Usha. Thank you, God. Thank you, Father. Glory to your name. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's the lowest valley. The lowest valley. You can, you can always find it. 
if you're looking for me. Hey, yes, God. Yeah. If you want to touch me, I'm under. If you want to come and leave me, I'm under. Yes. Ha, ya baba, she come on, say, ha. Woo, she's a. If you're looking for me, yeah. Ooh, Jesus. I'm under the blood. If you're looking for me, I'm under, I'm under the blood. Shanda Mando. I'm under the blood. If you're looking for me, I'm under the blood. I'm talking to you. If you're looking for me, I'm under the blood. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm talking to you. If you're looking for me, you can find me under the blood. I'm under the blood. My healing is under the blood. Woo, Jesus. Yeah. Even if I look back to three to four years ago, when I was stuck in the pit, Thank you, Jesus. Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I thought it was a redeemer, but oh, I feel my sin. You showed me the blood. It was there all along. Now I can say, if you're looking for me, I'm under the blood. If you're looking for me, and that man who could be a sin, I'm under the blood. If you look at the love of me, if you look at you, if you look at me, if you look at me, if you look at me, if you're looking for me, yeah. if you're looking for me, yeah. Ooh. Uh. thank you, Jesus. Marked by the blood. I'm marked by the blood. You're fine. You marked by the blood, woman. And then the Amandio. Oh, oh, oh. I'm kept by the blood. It's always there. It's part of my testimony. It's part of my testimony. If you're looking for me, <laughs> yeah, prophet. You're 
y'all to know that y'all under the blood. I'm under the blood. Thank you, God. Amen. Girl, thank you, God. Amen, thank amen. You. Listen. Now, I'm going to have to close this room like club. I'll be closed. We've, <laughs> we've been here for closing. two hours and 17 minutes. <laughs> I love you guys. Honey, Remember that you are under closing. the blood. Under it, under it, under it. Praise the Lord. <laughs> okay. So this room Amen. is closing. And I have got to see about this internet, honey, because I cannot do this in and out stuff. This room is, you don't two and you on one. Okay. So let's see you all um, join me Monday for the press and pray. I'll be um, pressing into the word of God and praying it to completion. Um, Prophet Tarina has a two, have the what? Prophet Tarina, I, I don't know if we can put a flyer, but put a flyer in this post about what you have going on. And then the second and fourth Sundays at 9 p.m. Eastern, we will be on doing prophetic intercession. Yes, Press and Pray is Monday at 10 a.m. on um, Toya and Delachey Ministries. Okay, Toya and Delachey. Amen. Serena, are you going to drop your fly in? Go ahead. I don't know if she can drop it. I don't think she can so, drop it on streamer, but she if she drops it on Facebook, we can get it. Yes. Amen. And if there, I don't know if there's any other. If there's any other um, individuals, she says, no idea how. Okay. Yes. Okay. Amen. So anyway, y'all follow um, Prophet Tarina Brown yes. Ministries, Tarina Brown Ministries, Tarina Brown Ministries, Tarina Brown Ministries. Yes. It's Tuesday um, night. She has seven. some phenomenal. Uh, some She's so a beast. Cool. Tuesday, Tuesday night, night seven. The anointed of the Lord. I mean, thank you so much, Apostle Cynthia Carter. Yay! Thank you. Look, we done prayed you on the line. My God. Listen, listen, thank you, Mom. We appreciate you. And thank you, Prophet Dendrick, for joining. I know my sister was excited. <laughs> That's my favorite today, y'all. Listen, thank you to everybody thank you prophet tarina prophet um francine y'all uh lady evangelist jennifer i'm gonna get in trouble because i'm you can't yep lady bridget prophet is bridget thank you um pastor jerry drika y'all thank you thank you thank you so much yvonne lamika y'all thank you and it, i mean jessica it was so so many more people who were on um this evening listen we are grateful and thankful that you all uh could join us and you know i'm gonna be honest it pushes us right it, it the, the more you pull on us Listen, you you pull and we bring out. And so I bless God for this stretching. This is level stretching for me because I'm going to tell you, I would rather stay in the marketplace mm -hmm. rather than be rejected by you. Oh, did I say that? So anyway, 
I would rather stay in the marketplace, but God is moving me um, to do what he's called me to do in the kingdom. And so I bless God um, that we're able to do that. We love you too, Apostle Carter. So um, amen, Prophet Dendrick, amen, amen. So listen, this and woman is really a supporting sidekick. <laughs> that that's my big sister and you know i gotta drag her along you don't know she didn't want me to come with her so now i get to i'm dragging her along with me i'm like girl come on we gotta do this come on we got to do that come on so anyway um i'm excited about the gift that's on that's her really life and i just now. bless I'm god that we we, we are not you use it for that's something that's else that's i don't know what that is but listen my tv just cut on on its own, on its own. <laughs> this room is closing y'all in five four I sealed and covered this room y'all got to go back and catch all of the replay we didn't sealed and covered it um and apostle cynthia if you want to go back and catch the replay um i think your prophetic word word is about one hour it's right at about one hour and 30 minutes or one hour 29 minutes somewhere back in that space if you want to catch it yes prophet tarina the big gun we got the big gun on stage so we appreciate um dr I'm just the sidekick I'm just the same. <laughs> I'm, I'm the Batman supporting cast. Batman Robin. <laughs> Listen, I'm Robin. That's Batman. I can't with you. I can't with you. I can't. I'm not doing it. Send it. Oh, she said, can okay. you send it? And, okay. All right. We'll do it. We'll do it. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it. All right, y'all. So we we are so for real. We are getting ready to close this room in five four, three, <laughs> two, and one. God bless you and may the Lord keep you and expand you. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. All right, we're ending. Thank you, Dr. Henley. I appreciate you.